is the star of the Queen biopic Bohemian Rhapsody? What is his relation to co-star Lucy Boynton? Find out as we examine the untold truth about Rami Malek. Number 10. Egyptian Origin Born and raised in Los Angeles, California, Rami Malek is a first-generation American born to Egyptian immigrants. His parents, Sed and Nelly, first moved from Cairo in 1978, after his father grew enamored with Western civilization, thanks to his interactions with visitors as a tour guide. Moving to Sherman Oaks, the family settled quickly with his father venturing into insurance, while his mother found work as an accountant. Despite their new home, the family focused on keeping their children close to their Egyptian roots. So Rami and his siblings, Sami and Yasmin, were all taught to speak both English and Egyptian Arabic from a young age. Keeping a close proximity to Egyptian culture has played a deep role in shaping Malik as he credits a childhood full of celebrating his heritage as crafting the fabric of who he is. Number 9. Superstar Schooling Growing up in Los Angeles can be tough, and with his childhood so heavily ingrained with his family's native culture, Malik had a difficult time adjusting. Vast cultural differences made it hard for the young Egyptian American to assimilate to school, especially when it came to his name. Due to shy Malik would wait until high school before he ever corrected peers and teachers as the proper pronunciation of Rami. He attributes this challenge with fitting in as to why he first began creating characters and voices as a child, granting an outlet for his creativity and search for a self-identity. His Catholic upbringing made the nearby Notre Dame High School an easy choice, and it was here that he would meet fellow classmates and the future star performers like Kirsten Dunst and Rachel Bilson. He even dated the stepsister of his future co-star Christian Slater at this school. But the true lifelong love he found in high school was acting. Beginning with his parent-approved pursuit of a career in law, Malik would join the debate team in high school. While he wasn't especially great at performing arguments, his ability to speak and perform in the category of dramatic interpretation inspired his debate advisor to point him towards a one-man play. His performance earned the approval of his parents, and Malik immediately began chasing a career in acting. After college, the young actor would go on to study theater at the University of Evansville, receiving his bachelor degree in fine arts in 2003. Number 8. Twin Brother Though Rami Malik is a first-generation American and the only member of his family to break into Hollywood, he isn't an only child. His older sister, Yasmin, is a medical doctor that works in the emergency room. He also has a brother named Sami, who works as an ESL and English teacher. But a slimmer name isn't all Rami shares with his brother. Their pair are actually twins. Older by just four minutes, Rami and his brother look nearly identical, with Rami's more spelt physique being the chief difference between the two. Their indistinguishable good looks made the pair a handful in their youth, as the two Malik brothers would often cause trouble by pretending to be one another. In college, for example, Rami once stood in for Sami to recite a Greek monologue in class, a requirement Sami needed to pass in order to graduate. Rami's performance was so good it caught the professor off guard, considering it was a 180 degree turn from Sami's typical work in class. Nonetheless, the professor even requested an encore for a later class. Sami got to return the favor years later, though. When at an after-party at an award show, he graciously accepted all the praise from strangers looking to compliment his famous brother. Over time, it will be interesting to see what other shenanigans and hijinks this pair of troublemaking twins can come up with. Number 7. Tough Break Making the leap from the school stage to being a professional onset actor doesn't come overnight for most actors, and Malik was no different. Immediately after college, Malik would move to New York and find work, sharing a one-bedroom apartment with various other tenants, looking to make it in show business. While chasing his acting dreams, Malik wound up working a number of jobs within the food industry to make ends meet. Some of his jobs including delivering pizza and working at a falafel and shawarma shops. To make matters tougher, Malik worked all these jobs while possessing a college degree. Making the most of his situation, though, the actor would use his delivery routes to get his name out, attaching a headshot to the pizza boxes destined for anyone he thought might be in the industry. He tried this for years until one fateful day it actually worked out. One customer finally contacted him, and by the next day, he had joined the Screen Actors Guild. But the journey didn't immediately improve, as many of Malik's first roles would end up being cut down for a number of reasons. Parts he had landed in films like 2012's The Master and 2013's Old Boy were shortened significantly, slowing his ascent to stardom in the process. Though the latter example was eventually made up to him as director Spike Lee would cast him once more for the crowd-funded 2014 movie The Sweet Blood of Jesus. Number 6. Mr. Robot When the casting for Mr. Robot first began, the show's screenwriter, Sam Esmail, had struggled to find the right person for the main part after witnessing more than 100 actors audition. Ready to rewrite the script and main character entirely, Esmail was stopped in his tracks after viewing Malik's performance. Upon seeing the audition, Esmail admitted the actor's interpretation made him realize who the character really was. The show, which revolves around the life of a psychologically unstable hacker, would go on to debut in June of 2015 on the USA Network. In preparing for the part, Malik met with a psychiatrist to further his understanding of the various mental and social disorders his character would endure. 
This ended up paying off huge as his work was immediately met with critical acclaim. This role would become a hit as publications like Entertainment Weekly would refer to Malik's magnetic performance as the best reason to watch Mr. Robot. He received a bevy of award nominations and won both the Critics' Choice Television Award for Best Actor in a Drama Series and a Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Lead Actor in a Drama Series. The latter award was history-making as Malik was not only the first non-white actor to win an Emmy in that category in 18 years, but he was also the first ever Egyptian-American to win an Emmy for acting. Number 5. Stereotypical Roles Prior to his widespread commercial success thanks to Mr. Robot and Bohemian Rhapsody, Rami Malek was often left taking roles that played more towards his heritage than his ability. Some of his early roles on television shows like Gilmore Girls and Medium don't address Malek's Middle Eastern origins, but others made full use of his relation. In the show Over There, the actor was cast as an Iraqi prisoner held captive by U.S. troops. In the single episode in which he appears, Malik's character is mistreated and interrogated, acting as a representation of the horrors of combat before turning around and becoming a shallow extremist interpretation in a later scene. His part in the eighth season of 24 saw him playing a similar role as an extremist, with an explosive strapped to his chest, again playing the unflattering anti-American villain. His parts in the Night at the Museum franchise would take on a lighter theme stereotype, but a stereotype nonetheless. When the Egyptian actor took on the part of King Achmen Ra, a mummified pharaoh contained within the fictional museum, while this role definitely helped him become a more common face in the mainstream, Malik thankfully has received well-rounded roles where his heritage and culture is a component, and not the entirety of his identity. Number 4. Game Star Malik has made his mark both on television and in film, but the wide-eyed young actor has ventured into a third medium most actors have yet to touch. Video games. The actor first made his foray into the gaming scene with Halo 2, working as an uncredited voice actor for a variety of side characters in 2004. Eight years later, he would return for The Legend of Korra video game, where he provided the voice of the character Tano, reprising a role from the show of the same name. A year later, though, Malik landed a role that took the medium to a whole new level. With 2015's Until Dawn, Malik was among the small collection of actors to not just provide voiceovers to the game, but their likeness as well. The video game models the horror genre of films, with a premise set in a wintry cabin where a group of young adults must survive a harrowing night amongst monsters. Appearing alongside Malik were actors like Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D.'s Brett Dalton, American God star Peter Stormare, and Hero star Hayden Panettiere. Along with its innovative use of actors, Until Dawn was praised for its gameplay, storyline, and all-around experience earning 15 separate award nominations and taking home the award for Best Horror Game at the Golden Game Awards. One of the game's massive highlights was the butterfly effect, in which every choice made with the game's eight characters, including Malik's role of Joshua, would lead to different possible scenarios, making the potential of the game's story seemingly limitless. Number 3. Bohemian Rhapsody Rami Malek nabbed one big fish when he landed the role of Freddie Mercury in the 2018 Queen biopic Bohemian Rhapsody. One of the most commercially successful films in 2018, the movie garnered a massive $844 million in box office revenue after filming with a budget of just $50 million. While Queen and the late iconic legend, Mercury, are a huge reason behind the project's success, it didn't hurt that Malik delivered on his end with flying colors. Receiving widespread critical acclaim, Malik's performance was praised for its accuracy, brevetto, dedication to the source of material. To ready himself for the role of a lifetime, Malik enlisted the help of a dialect coach, a movement coach, a piano teacher, and a vocal instructor. He moved to London and studied Mercury's movements and behavior for four hours a day, closely examining videos like Queen's 1985 Live Aid concert, which Malik watched over 1,500 times on YouTube. To top off the difficulty of the experience, Malik had to learn to do all these things while wearing fake teeth, a prop used in the film to depict Mercury's overbite. Throughout the course of shooting the film, Malik's performance became so close to the singer's actual behavior that even Mercury's old bandmates were fooled. Queen guitarist Brian May has said on record that his betrayal of Freddie Mercury was so spot on that they sometimes forgot that he was Rami. Number 2. Lucy Boynton His experience on the set of Bohemian Rhapsody was undoubtedly life-changing, but Malik found more than a role he could sink his teeth into. Shortly after shooting Wrapped in 2017, Malik was spotted alongside his co-star, Lucy Boynton, at a number of red carpet events, starting with a party for Alexa Chung Fantastic Collection in January of 2018. These appearances didn't raise any flags to the onlooking public, though, as the two still weren't considered an item when they were seen attending a Super Bowl party a month later. It wasn't until April that Us Weekly published the details 
details, confirming with an unnamed source that the two met on set during the filming of Bohemian Rhapsody and that Malik was head over heels for the starlet. These reports were largely unsupported until a Louis Vuitton and Virgil Abloh London event prompted an appearance from the couple, who were much closer than before on the red carpet. Malik himself didn't even discuss their relationship until a year later at the Palm Springs International Film Festival this past January. He accepted a Breakthrough Performance Award at the festival and during his speech made sure to mention Boynton. Malik remarked to the crowd, Thank you, Lucy Boynton. You have been my ally, my confidant, my love. Thank you so much. Since then, the couple appeared hand in hand at the Golden Globes, the Critics' Choice Awards, the Screen Actors Guild Awards, the BAFTA Awards, and the Oscars, blatantly letting their love be known by all. And now for our number one. Don't forget to subscribe. Number one, Bittersweet Oscar. The 2019 Academy Awards were a night to remember for Malik, who left a lasting impression when he took home the Oscar for Best Actor, thanks to his role in Bohemian Rhapsody. But winning the award wasn't the only surprise in store for Malik. After the award show went off the air, the actor took a nasty stumble off the stage, prompting nearby EMTs to rush in and check on his safety. Luckily, Malik didn't suffer any injuries and went on to enjoy the festivities of the night, beginning with popping open a bottle of champagne at the Oscars engraving room. The success and recognition of his performance have already began shifting his career into overdrive, as Malik was just recently announced to be in the final negotiations for a prized role as the next James Bond villain. Today's feature comment comes from Leona on our things you didn't know about Zac Efron video. Thanks for your thoughts, Leona. Don't forget to leave your thoughts below and we might feature you in a future video. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.